a problem She know Okay, so how do we do this double exposure in Photoshop? Well, firstly we need to open Photoshop, which we have, and then we need to load in two images. One image that we've taken that we want to double expose and the image that we're gonna expose over the top. In my case, I've got this image of a model here, and I've also got an image of a mountain that I'm gonna transpose over the top of it. So the first thing that we need to do, well, the first thing I need to do is I need to go up to the quick selection tool which is sort of fourth one down from the uh, top on the toolbar. And it's the, th the second option, so it's a middle option, quick selection tool. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly make a selection of this model, trying to get as much detail as I can possibly get of the whole image that we're gonna use. So for that, it's just carefully going around, making sure that we get all the hair, any bits that may well not be picked up straight away. We just go around. We need a little bit more there and a little bit more on there. Incidentally, if you select a little bit too much, like down here, if you hold the Alt key, then the internal little bit of this circle changes from a plus to a minus. And then you can go along the edge and you can just undo what you've already selected. You can do that as many times as you want. It's not limited. Um, and it is quite a handy piece of kit to be able to just refine that image that little bit. To make sure that you do actually select absolutely everything. I'm just gonna go across everything inside the model just to make sure that we have actually selected everything and that it is all good. That's brilliant. Okay, so once we've done that, that's fantastic. So next option for us is gonna to be to right click on this model. So let's go for control, click, click feather, um, let's make sure it's 0 0.5, click OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the background layer, click Command J, and that's going to duplicate our selection, but it's going to duplicate just the selection. It's not going to duplicate the whole image. From that, I can delete our original image, double click in there, and I'm going to name this one Model. What we're going to do now is we're going to just hit V on the keyboard just to get back to where we are. Okay, so we need to make sure there's enough space in this image for the image that we're going to transmit over the top. So the exposed image over the top needs a bit more space than what we've got. So for that, I'm going to get the crop tool and I'm going to give it a little bit more headroom and a little bit more room sideways. But I don't really want all the all the uh, the body, so I'm going to just go up to about here, and we're going to leave it with a little bit of shoulder. But we're going to make sure we've got plenty of headroom to work with. We could, of course, recompose this image afterwards once we've done the work on double exposing it. But for now, we just need that little bit extra workspace in order to work around this image. I'm going to go down to our adjustments panel, click on here, and I'm going to click solid color. I'm going to change it to completely white and I'm going to click OK. Hit V on my keyboard just to get rid of that crop tool. And then I'm going to bring this down below the model there and I'm going to rename it to background. So now we've got a solid white background on our model from what we had previously. Select the model there and we need to go to image, adjustments, and then desaturate. You can also press shift. Uh, Command and U on a Mac uh, and that will desaturate the image for you and that from that point there we can then nip to our mountain picture or whatever picture it is that you've got our second image that we're going to double expose over the top and we can just drag that into the image workspace that we've got. My image is a little bit big so I'm just going to quickly uh, control T and I'm going to move it down in size click OK and that from that point on, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to change the opacity of that image to 
that allows me to see exactly what it is that I'm going to be working with and where I want to put my image uh, in relation to the model that I've got on my screen. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this. I'm just going to click Control T and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to position it in a place where I think it looks best. For me, I think that I want this little bit of mountain here. I want that to follow or as closely follow the curvature of her forehead and nose um, as, as best as it possibly can. So I'm just going to try and get that in as best as I can um, in order to be able to make it fit. So let's just zoom in a little bit and just make sure that we've not got the forehead coming out above that mountain because I don't want it to come out too far. That's cool. Okay, that looks brilliant. Uh, and from there, what I can do is I can now change that back to 100% because we need to see this image as an old, uh, as a whole uh, at full strength in order to move on to the next step. So now that we've got that full strength, what I can do is I can select the model there and I can command and one click on the image of the model there and that gives us our original selection. So it shows us the selection that we've originally taken um, and that means we can now see exactly what it is that we are working with. What I can then do is I can go up to the layer one and I can then go down to add layer mask and I can click add layer mask and that brings us a layer mask in place and it basically overexposes the image, the second image over the first image. So what we'll do is we'll make a copy of this model layer. So we'll just press Alt, make a copy and drag it above. So we've now got a copy of our model layer. We've got the mountain layer, which we're going to rename now just while we've got chance. So let's just name that to mountain. So we'll rename that mountain. We've got the model copy, mountain layer, model and then our background. What we'll do from here is in this model layer, the copy, we'll change the blending mode to lighten. So now you can see that we've actually got some of the image coming through um, and we've got some of the model, the, the mountain layer, blended in to within the original photo. So what we'll do is we'll change the opacity of that to 50%. So the next thing we have to do is we go to the model copy, we select the layer mask section, go across to the brush tool and with black selected, like so, what we do is we start to paint back in. Make sure the opacity is set to 40%, which it is. And we just start to paint in here with the black selected, which basically gives us that mountain in sort of high detail. We're starting to get a little bit more in. So we're just bringing that into detail like so. Next thing we can do is we can go across to the mountain layer, select on that, and with black selected still, what we can do is we can just start to paint in some of the model's face, just so we get a little bit more of that sort of area. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring in all of this model here, so that we've got a little bit of a double exposure going off. I'm just going to bring down the size of the brush. And I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to bring her ear back in to view. Just to give a little bit more of a face, like so. We're going to select the background layer. We double click on it. And then we're going to select a color from in here. Select the mountain layer. So we're going to get this mountain layer. And then I'm going to Command J, which is going to duplicate it. And then going to select it, grab the layer mask, and just delete that altogether. And I'm going to delete it. So that the image appears. I'm then going to change the blend mode of that to lighten, which gives us this cool effect with the clouds and what have you that are available in the image. There is some still some image around that we need to get rid of, so we'll tidy that up now. I'm going to go to the layer mask icon, I'm going to click Alt and I'm going to click on it like so, and that's going to put a layer mask in like so. I'm going to select white as my foreground color. 
and then we'll select the brush again. I'm going to make it slightly larger and then we'll just start brushing it in. Just to bring it into play. And that is just going to give in these clouds. It's going to bring these clouds in like so. And if I flick across to black, I should then be able to just paint that little bit out. We're going to bring this up a little bit in size. I'm just going to paint that out there like so. I'm just going to make sure we get rid of that because that's not quite working for us. So we can just bring that out like so. And that is basically it. That is all you really need to do in order to make a double exposure image inside of Photoshop.